Good morning. How are you guys? I miss you so much. I can't believe we're almost heading into June. Can you believe this? Anyway, today we are going to pick up back with our new series, the Inspire to Create a Better You series. And this book is called A Peaceful Little Spot. So I chose the emotion of peace or feeling peaceful because, hey, we all need a little peace nowadays, don't we? So here we go without further ado. And this one is also by Diane Alber. The whole series is by Diane. And Nicholas is here today to join us. Thank you. Hi, I'm a peaceful spot. Your peaceful spot helps you feel relaxed and calm. And today I'm going to show you how to get your peaceful spot. Wow, I'm so excited. Nicholas, they can't see the book. Thank you. Ta-da! Here it is. Isn't it beautiful? Because you are calm and relaxed right now. It's really easy to spot it. This is so pretty. Mama? Yeah. It'd be so fun. It's so fun. But when a big spot of emotion shows up, it could be overwhelming. And then it could be hard to see this calm, peaceful spot. That's why it's important to look for your peaceful spot as soon as one of those spots of emotions get so big. But first, no, 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 Nicholas, don't touch. First, you need to identify what spot of emotion shows up. So friends, this book is telling you that if you feel a different emotion, it's important that the second you start to feel it, you find your peaceful spot and that will help you calm right down. Is that your angry spot? If you are feeling frustrated because you can't find something or annoyed because you tried to do something and it didn't turn out like you expected, that happens all the time to us in this house. Or is it your anxiety spot? Are you feeling worried about trying something new or scared that you won't pass a test? Or is it your sadness spot? Are you feeling lonely because someone will play with you? Or disappointed because you dropped your delicious popsicle? It's this one. That's a popsicle that fell down. I want a one. You want one? Each emotion can be managed in a different way. That's why it's important to identify which one you are feeling. Nervous, worried, scared, disappointed, lonely, lost, annoyed, hurt, Frustrated. Take a look at those. <laughs> a funny one. Once you have identified the spot of emotion, it makes it easier to guide you to your peaceful spot. If you are having a hard time figuring out which spot of emotion it is, it can help if you write or draw how you're feeling. Now it's time to turn that spot of emotion into a peaceful spot. Sometimes it helps to fill your peaceful spot with lots of amazing peaceful things. Let's look at some times when we're peaceful and add those to your peaceful spot. Get some crayons and paper for some peaceful coloring or find some peaceful music or some peaceful pictures for meditation. How about some books for peaceful reading and writing? So friends, this is a good activity for after I'm done reading this book. Let's add a chart for calm breathing too. Spot pattern breathing. Now this is really powerful friends. And I shared with you a few videos ago about how I have anxiety sometimes. And I do this all the time, you breathe in, you breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. But it's not that quick. Each breath, you want to count to three in your head, okay? Imagine oh, a pattern. Wow. That's so loud. Yeah, you're too loud. Mommy's reading. Imagine a pattern of several green spots. Breathe in with the swirls and out with the dots. If you do that three times, you will always feel more calm. <gasps> Here are some breathing tricks you can do too. Each thing is for a different oh. emotion. Count the spots from one to four. Tap, tap, tap once more. Now fill your lungs with peaceful air. Nicholas, please. And coat your spots with love and care. 
Friends, I'm gonna post a picture of this page when I'm done so that you can see it a little bit better. Nicholas, please stop. Wow, it's already working. Look how calm he looks. And he has a big cozy chair too. Okay, I think I've given you enough tools to help you find your peaceful spot. I'll be looking forward to seeing you soon. So friends, in the back of the book is just those things that the peaceful spot was talking about, the breathing pattern, and I'll post a picture of this. And how to spot your feelings, and I'll post a picture of this. And then, breathing tricks, and I'll also post this. So what I want you to do now is do exactly what the book said. You get a piece of paper, get crayons and markers, and anything that kind of makes you calm, draw it. And then on the top of the paper, you could write peaceful spot. Then you could put that paper somewhere in your house. And anytime that you're feeling any of the other emotions that were shown in the book, go to the peaceful spot. Okay. And you will feel better. And we will see you next time. I think next time we'll do a little spot of love. All right. Have a good day. Nikki, you want to say bye? Bye. Come wave to friends. Blow kiss. Bye. Bye.